In this Python tutorial, we will build this website using Streamlit. When the checkbox buttons are clicked, images and codes are uploaded to the web page. I will show you how to make a web page step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, let's activate the web server. I open terminal. I open the command prompt. I go to Venn file. You can activate the web server using this code. The web server is currently running. Let's add a header. You can add text to the web page using the header function. I save the code file and refresh the page. We added a text to the web page. Now let's learn how to add images to the web page. You can download these images from GitHub in the description section of the video. Or you can use different images of your own. I send the image name to the image function. I save the code file and refresh the page. The image has been added to the web page. You can change the size of the image using the width value. I made the image a little smaller. You can add a caption to the image. I added a caption to the image. You can create a list to add multiple images side by side. I'm creating a list. I'm adding these two images to the list. I'm creating a caption list. I add the captions to the list one by one. I synchronize the list with the image value. I synchronize the caption and caption list. You can add images side by side this way. I create an object using the checkbox function. I send the object name to the checkbox function. If the checkbox is clicked, its value will be true. If the checkbox is clicked, I add a simple text to the web page with write. When you click on the checkbox, the text is printed on the web page. Instead of write, I add the image function to the if query. When the checkbox is selected, images are added to the web page. I am creating a checkbox object for code. If the code is true, I will display a simple print command on the screen. Depending on the click checkbox object, the image or code is displayed on the screen. Checkbox objects are one under the other in this example. You may want to place checkbox objects side by side. I create a variable for this. 
I set the column's value to 2. I can add checkbox objects side by side with with. Let's run it and test it. Checkbox objects were added side by side to the web page. In this video, we learned how the checkbox object works. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.